Really looking forward to running the Dalai Lama at Plumpton. Um, it looks a nice race for him to get started. Uh, obviously disappointing we didn't run last week at Chepstow. It's one of those things, he just came, as, he was lame in his box in the morning. Uh, we thought it was something or nothing, but you can't really run a horse like that. And it turned out within 24 hours it had gone. So he'd been canting away, we're totally happy with him. I think he had a roll in his box probably and just sort of jarred himself up whether he got slightly cast in the box or something. But absolutely fine now. And looking forward to, before that, he's trained extremely well to this point. Uh, obviously, you know, since we brought him at the sales, he's had at least six weeks of intensive training. So he's had plenty to improve his fitness. Um, we've got to see what he's made of. Now, I'm coming back in distance from the distance that Charlie Mann was running him over, uh, which I think is a good way to go for the moment. So two and a half miles. But he's like, very untried on soft ground. I see it's not good to soft, soft in places or softish ground. And he's the last race on the of the of the on the meeting on the card as well so it could be pretty soft ground and he's un he's unproven on that so we may find it's not for him but there's plenty in the pedigree to suggest he could be fine on it so well worth a go um crappy little race but i think he's got every chance if he performs and i'm hoping that colleen gets a good spin out of him um the with pleasure i thought looks dangerous at all the flat runs so it's fit as a flea going back hurdling uh, that would have a definite chance. Pat Murphy's horse certainly has a chance, and Lorne Hill's horse has a bit of a chance. So it's going to be competitive, but it's a suitable starting point. Let's hope for a really good show and see if uh, we can have some fun with this lad.